Hello you guys, Cloud BB here, and today I'm bringing you guys a new gameplay. Uh, I happened to see this while I was browsing my subscribe with the YouTubers that I'm subscribed to, and I happened to see that Ushi did a gameplay on this, Valkyrie Automata. So I'm going to go ahead and try it myself. Well, I've already played a bit of it, and I got to say that the game is pretty good. I mean, once you start getting the plane, you're not able to put it down. Now, so, for those who cannot read Japanese like me, I've already figured out half of the things on here. Hold on one second. So, I figure out half of the things on here. Uh, the blue is quest, the purple is arena, and the green are like special events that you can do. Down here, you've got your unit edit menu at the top, and you go ahead, you got your items menu. Well, okay, hold on. Unit menu editor at the top where you can edit your units and okay let's go back and then you have your items like where you can edit your items and weapons and everything like this is weapon fusion uh i really haven't found out what these are but all i know that you can equip them to different units here i haven't really found out what this is yet but i will eventually and I'm guessing this is sale items uh, which I'm not gonna do and the third one I think probably is the gallery oh no this is sale oh crap yeah I haven't figured those out yet so we're gonna go ahead and show some gameplay uh, I guess I can do a quest here So, I know a lot of people can't read Japanese like me, well, myself, I can't read Japanese at all. I ain't gonna lie, I can't. Well, bits and pieces, but that's it. I can only read bits and pieces. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and skip. We don't know what they're saying. So, this is the overview of the dungeon. Now, the way the enemies are set up, the dark ones like right here are easy enemies. The red ones are medium. And these are bosses, or the red ones might be hard enemies, I don't know. I haven't really been able to figure it out, but all I know is that they're both not really hard to beat. Alright. So I'm guessing depending on the amount of power you have is the decision on who fights first. So what you do is you touch the units and they attack. Now you, next is the enemy's turn. Up to the right, you have your friend, where you can activate your friend skill. If you swipe up on your character, you can use this special ability. Okay, that's the end of that battle. Alright, now, the other thing that I figured out is the blue alchemy looking circle in the middle is to heal your units. Use seven action points to heal them. The crystal one is actually an ice attack you can use to clear an enemy from a space they're in. 
but you use one action point for that and the one all the way to the right is a search I believe you can look for items well that's a bronze chest there and that's how that is used okay so let's go to the next enemy alright they attack first Uh, okay the meter down in the bottom left hand corner is your special meter which actually goes up to a maximum count of four so all four well everybody will use their like ultimate special move while the top meter above I haven't figured this one out yet this one up here but you tap your opponents choose which one you want to attack first so let's go ahead and build the meters up ah, I missed all right messed up big time Alright, so there it is. Okay, well, let's keep going. Now, while playing this, what you want to do is try to build up your special ability meter as much as you can. Sorry, my headphones is messing up. Okay, so let's go here. Okay, now let's build this up all the way. There we go. get this chest over here all we gotta do is tap up there use one of these again and a uh, root straight there now I do like completing everything that I do so let's go ahead all the way to the boss now, to quick kill the boss, I believe the boss is right here, so we're going to quick kill him. Oh, it's crap. We didn't kill him. Alright, 
Oh crap, he's not dead yet. That's the end of that. <laughs> Don't know what it's saying, but sure it's like a chatter up thing or something like that. I don't know. All right. Oh, we got a sword. Two swords. Nice. Okay. All right. So that's a bit of quest you can change your background to the favorite character that you like using and it will show them as soon as you log in you know these are the ones that I have so you will start to eventually pick them up as long as you go through the storyline and I believe you start off with these two Mm. Yeah. So let's go back to the regular one you start off with. Now, up here you see the event board of what's going on and everything. Down here is your weapon summon for your units. Right? It costs 500 crystals. And I would say, or crystals, yeah. To summon them or you can go over here to accurately summon like here it says 3,500 crystals so I think I might save up that to do a 10 summon here but I'll save that for another video and here you can add on to your weapon slot or your I think those are badges like add on to the badge slot I don't know I don't know what to call them from here on, but I guess I'll just call them badges. guess that's what they are, but oh well. So, that's it for my review of Valkyrie Atomina. Uh, I like it. This is the options menu, by the way. But I like it. It's a pretty well put together game. And... If you guys want to give this game a try yourselves, I recommend that you go download the QOO app. It's an app that actually gives you access to the Japanese game store for Android. Uh, I, well, you can Google it or maybe next video I'll put a link in the description for it. But this video, I'm really not going to do that because it's kind of late at night and it's 11.48 right now. So this video should be up in a bit. But that's my review of it. I like the game. It's pretty good. So you guys like, comment, subscribe. And how about you send me games that you play that I think I should try out. And if I really do like them, I'll do a playthrough on them. So, yep. Catch you guys later. Claw BB is out.